This may seem like a weird idea, but I like to create content that I find helpful. And sometimes YouTube makes me feel anxious and all the thumbnails and all the clickbait and oh, the colors and all, there's too much out, there's too much. Want to keep it real simple right now? If you're listening, if you're watching, what if, maybe I'll use this recording for myself sometimes, I'll just wait here and I'll keep talking, but I'll walk you through the morning and we'll do it together. How about that? You know, I was living alone in my condo for so long and the days where you don't have roommates, you're not with your parents, you're not with friends, you don't have a partner. Yeah, sometimes it can be it can be lonely. The internet's cool where we can do this. So put me up on your shelf, put me on your dresser, lay me on your bed, prop me up on your pillow, and let's get started. Real gently, real slowly. Okay? You're awake. The morning's here. The day isn't here yet, okay? Just the mornings here. And the best thing we can do together is just focus on what the next step should be. We're in A right now. Let's move to B. Don't even think about C right now. The alphabet's overrated. Let's just go A to B right now, okay? So first, you put the pillow, or sorry, you put the phone on the pillow or somewhere. All right, what if, this is going to hurt, I got to take the sheets off. Take, the, take those sheets off, I know. Maybe you're in a cold room, maybe it's still dark out. Yeah, I know. Oh, just look here, it's beautiful out. It's blue sky right here in Toronto. So I'm moving the blue sky. If it's cloudy, rainy, wherever you are, maybe you're in Seattle, Vancouver, maybe you're somewhere where it's still dark up north. I'm taking the blue sky. Just dropped it right in your room. Okay, so covers are off. Uh, just make your way. Just sit up straight on your bed. You don't have to stand up yet. Just sit up. That's all you got to do. Now, this is where I would be like, Okay, Scott, I'm up. Okay, I'm going back down. I'm going back down. Okay, I know. I know. Your knees are at 45 degrees. Your back's maybe hunched over a little bit. That's all good. You just woke up. What are you, you, what are you expecting of yourself? You just woke up. You're going to tell me some jokes, do some cartwheels, backflips, juggle for me, make me a meal? No, you just woke up. You just woke up. Just sit there for a minute. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Well done. One more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Just that little bit of air gave you a little energy. Did you feel that? Just a little energy there. Just one more time. And exhale. Well done. Now, if you can right now, let's get on up. Let's go. Could the microphone go that high? Oh, okay, I'm up with you. Okay, we made it. Okay. <laughs> You're up. Now, I'm going to stay leaned over like this. I'm watching. I'm watching. Good job getting up. All right. What's the next step? We're just going A to B again. We're at A now. We're standing. Well done, my friend. What if? Yeah, I know. Yeah, bladder is full. Okay. All right. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Number one or two, dude. <laughs> Does anyone go... Take, take a dump first thing in the morning? I don't think I've ever done that, like right when you get up. I don't know. But do what you gotta do. Make your way to the bathroom. Or 
I haven't planned this 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 video. Maybe you go get a glass of water if you can, if that's your routine. Do whatever the next step is in your routine. And I'll be here. I'll be here. What do I want to do while I wait? I'm just here. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing it. You're doing a great job. You know, just because we're doing this together and it doesn't mean you have to feel any different. You're still doing what you need to do and you still don't feel your best. That's all right. You might, nothing might change all morning. Don't, don't put pressure on yourself to feel better. You're getting things done. You already got out of bed. You already won the day because you got out of bed. It's incredible. Good job. You're making some breakfast. No, that didn't work. That's way out of tune. You know, I got one of these tuners and it's um it's one of these, if you see in the video, just you know, one of these ones you put on the neck of the guitar. It was eight bucks in a bin, and I know why it was eight bucks in a bin. It took me thirty-two years, my friend, thirty-two years to know the simple saying, you get what you pay for. I always thought I could, you know build a house based in out of Dollarama products. It doesn't work. I thought I could buy H&M clothes and they would last over three months. <sighs> it didn't work. You get what you pay for. You buy one pair of jeans for $120, they'll last you 30 years. I guarantee it. But it's hard to put that money out right away. Okay, where are you at in the routine? Maybe you drank water. Maybe you brushed your teeth. What do you think? Is it shower time? It might be shower time. Now... What do you want to do? Lukewarm? Hot? Cold shower? Now, I don't want to motivate you or to push you to do anything you don't want to do. Sometimes I'll do the cold shower. Really gives a jolt. I could tell you all the physiological and psychological benefits. <laughs> you don't need it. If you feel like going for the cold, go for the cold if you think it'll help. If not, Go for a nice, warm, soothing shower. I'll wait for you while you're in the shower uh, if the battery doesn't run out on the camera. So <laughs> how long's your shower, though? It might be 5, 10, 15? Maybe take a longer one to treat yourself for getting up this morning. The unbelievable strength you have already for getting up. Think about it. The want was to stay in bed. The, almost the need was to stay in bed like there's no other option. And here you are up. Already drank water. Already did your business. Maybe you're hopping in the shower right now. Incredible work. <laughs> what else is there? What else, what else do you need to accomplish? This was huge. This was absolutely monumental. So while you're in the shower, I'm going to... Ooh, you know what? I'll play you some flute. That's what I'll do. All right. Now, I'm going to play some while you're getting in, doing your stuff, and then you can put me on pause because I can't, the battery won't last 10 minutes, okay? Ooh. So we're getting out the high spirits flute in the key of A made of walnut. Those of you who have been on my channel before, know the sound of that bad boy all right you got to really well i'll show you how to use it okay and we'll start with this ceremony cer ceremony ceremonial whoa you think my brain hey it's midday here and my brain doesn't work how's your brain doing ceremonial <laughs> that sounds like such a weird word right now all right It's weird because maybe right now, like you're naked or something. Hmm. But we're doing this together. So <laughs> put me in the bathroom. If you don't want me to see you, put, put me somewhere in your bedroom. <laughs> All right. So as you're doing your stuff, getting ready right here with you, I'm, I just thought I'd play a little, uh, little high spirit flute for you. 
uh, Scott, while editing, just put the reverb up to like 20% or something. So it gives a nice ambience, ambiance. All right. Ooh. I'll tell you one more time. Great job doing what you're doing. You're still going. Way to go. What are you thinking of wearing after the shower? Uh, what are you thinking? Polo? Thinking just a plain white tee? Uh, dress, high heels, skirt, black jeans, blue jeans. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfume? No, maybe your office is the no scent policy, of course. So don't wear anything. There, everyone, there is, my friend, there's a perfume out there and I've been trying to get my hands on it. Next lady I walk by who smells like it, I need to stop her because it's disgusting. And I'm just so curious to what it is because so many women have this. It smells like a smoke machine. And I've been trying since I worked at HomeSense. And someone there had it. And that was back in 2013. And I've been looking for this perfume <laughs> since then. You think you didn't have high goals in life? I'm looking for a perfume off middle-aged women. Come on now. <laughs> just here to make you feel better your life's fantastic i'm searching for perfumes but it smells disgusting so i want to know the name of it and then warn people saying nobody likes this okay let's play some flute yeah that's the stuff played this in a very long time thanks for joining me so if you paused you're out of the shower well done well done maybe you feel a little better maybe you don't maybe you feel worse let's not judge now just just think about that little piece right that little piece inside you i know there's a voice in there being like oh my gosh i'm doing it just so small. I'm doing it. You're really doing it. You got out of bed, pulled the sheets back, sat upright, low energy and all, not wanting to face the day, but then you stood up. You took care of your physical body, going to the bathroom, maybe drinking water, showering and cleaning. Oh my goodness. And once again, we're looking at a superhero someone who can take on the world even though right now it seems it seems like a lot you don't need to take on the world you just need to move step by step so where are you at now i wonder we're about 15 minutes into your routine here hmm what are you thinking are you a breakfast person now, if it's anxiety i don't know maybe back off the coffee but you know your body better than i do so if you're feeling that and you need a boost, maybe a cup of that dark, dark Kenyan roast, huh? Maybe milk, soy, almond, oat, dairy, cream, half and half. Mmm. What do you need? What does your body need? No breakfast, breakfast, granola with some yogurt. Maybe some almond milk yogurt. I'm using that now because I don't eat dairy. Uh, coconut yogurt's also fantastic. Although with this almond almond yogurt, beware because they put cornstarch in this. They put corn in everything. And corn, I know you know this. Corn is bullshit. It's got nothing. Anyways, how you doing? <laughs> if you kept me on, that's cool. If you kept me off, 
that's great too because you're like damn this guy's annoying he's making my morning worse holy crap get out of my bedroom dude so realize that the mind wants to play games and your mind does what all minds do it wants to know it's trying to plan it's thinking about what's next be like okay hey mind i know you're doing that i know you're doing that i'm just doing my morning though right now so you can stay there i just gotta have my coffee i gotta have my tea i'm gonna sit here and relax for a bit before work starts or before i need to do anything for the day I know sometimes you forget how hard it can be until it comes again, eh? I find myself sometimes forgetting, which is good that we forget, and forgetting what that felt like of those mornings and that doom. Hmm. I wish I had the words and I wish I had the, the proof to tell you that it'll be okay, that I know this morning's hard, it will get better. I wish I could prove it to you and I don't want to be so neurotic and uh, pretentious to say, look, I'm the proof, uh, I'm happy now, but I know what those mornings are like, I know what those days are like. I know what those nights can be like. Just one step at a time, eh? One step. One easy step. You know, in mindfulness, and even if you do this now, as you're going about your morning, my friend, do you know how much it takes to do one step? To take one step? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever mindfully done it? You can do it right now. We can do it together. We think that taking a step forward, it's nothing. It's take baby steps. It's just, it's so easy. I shouldn't be proud of myself. If you really focus right now with your eyes closed, maybe open, of what it means to take a step. So we're going to go with your right foot first, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to shift your weight to your left side of the body and your left foot. Yeah, already it's like, whoa. Then you're going to slowly lift your right foot. Slowly move it forward, putting down your heel first. And then midfoot and slowly shifting your weight now to the right side. Coming to the toes of the right foot and now... Lifting the left leg. The weight's now on the right side. Lifting the left. Uh-huh. Slowly. And now the left is coming from further back. So you're moving it to the middle and now beyond the right foot. And you thought taking a step in the morning of getting out of bed wasn't a big deal. One step is a big deal. To do things slowly and mindfully can bring maybe some ease. And to say, come back to the, come back. I'm not in the daytime yet. I'm not at the office yet. I'm not at the factory yet. I'm not on site yet. I'm not at my laptop yet. I'll be there. I'm going to be there, but until I get there, I'm here now. Do it slowly with some love and, and compassion. I'm right here with you. Uh, I'll go right until the battery dies. We still got a few minutes. I'm with you.
you know, I have a friend of mine who's also, uh, he's going through a real tough time. If he's watching this, uh, I'm thinking about you, man, all the time. It's okay that it's not easy. It's okay that it's not easy. It's okay that it's not easy. You're doing great. You know, I'm even thinking of, well, what am I going to do today and for the rest of the day? And I got, I got like 30 things and my mind in silence, my mind went there. <laughs> I wasn't even in my chair for this last 20, 30 seconds. So don't blame your brain. Be nice to your brain. I know it's, sometimes it doesn't do us favors and, and we're hard on ourselves we're hard on ourselves, but think about, you know, what would be the best thing for you? Is it to be hard on yourself or no matter what, you know, I'm, no matter what, sorry, there was a dog at the door. No matter what, I'm still going to be kind to myself, even though it's really not being nice to me and my body's not being nice and my thoughts aren't being nice, but I choose to love myself anyways. It's not easy. I know. I wonder what your routine is actually like. <laughs> Could have been totally wrong. You know, I kept saying bed. Maybe you're coming out of a hammock. I don't know, right? <laughs> Maybe you're sleeping on the floor for, for better lumbar support and a stronger spine. Maybe you shower in the evenings and you didn't even shower. <laughs> Whatever your routine is, you've made it through. You're still going. It's incredible. You know... I, I cry and I tear up. That's what always gets me every time if I, if I speak on stage or in groups or workshops, whatever it is, and even to even on YouTube or the podcast, it gets to me how humans and how you persist. How I did, and I don't even know why or how. It's just you just, you find a way. We just keep going. It's hard. It's painful. It's tough. We're in the mud. We're dirty. Yet we crawl and we get out of the mud and continue. It's incredible what you've done today. This morning. Just in the morning alone. You won the day. You've won. If you go to work or wherever wherever your job is or whatever you're doing today you can remember the morning not for how it felt but for what you did unbelievable strength unbelievable
You ever feel like the world just needs so much more kindness and love? I know it's cheesy. And online and the internet gives you a skewed version of what the world's actually like. But online or offline, I just, I feel such a need for love and kindness and simplicity and just realness. Do you get that feeling? And if you really value kindness and you want love and you want simple stuff like this and then then you can be that to others too you're totally in unison to what you need and what you can offer I, I talk about depression to people i talk about anxiety i if i feel the need to share today was a rough morning i had to put on this stranger on YouTube and his podcast, and he had to be with me <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I've done it for myself. I've made recordings for myself, uh, in, you know, when I feel good, and I'd walk myself through a morning routine, and then I'd listen to myself in the morning, and I'd be like, hey, Scott, I know those thoughts are coming. I know it's terrible. I know you don't know why this has happened or why you feel this way, but I'm going to walk with you. I, I hope you enjoyed. We're, oh, we're almost out of battery here. Uh, so I hope you, um, I don't know, just maybe felt like you had a buddy this morning or um, that you got through the, the routine. I just want to say awesome job. This had nothing to do with me. It's all you. You did it. You got up. You said hello to the unknown in the world. And what else is there to be superhuman? We'll see you soon. Awesome work. Perfect timing too. Like the battery's at one tick. This is great. Nice job, my friend. Will that, will that be the thumbnail for YouTube? Okay, cool. All right. Awesome job. Have a great day. The best day you can. No pressure.